All right, we're over at the Daily Galaxy talking about how NASA satellites orbiting 400 miles above Earth reveal ancient buried Egyptian pyramids. Now to catch you up to date, in about 2001, when all the GPS Iridium satellites went online, I do believe NASA then mapped all of Earth, found all the really cool spots, got all the kick-ass treasure, and then waited about 10 years to tell us about it. Not the treasure part, though. The Arabs have a saying. The world fears time, but time fears the pyramids. And so, that's where we're at. You're acting weird. What do you got for me? An update. Good morning, folks. Are you cool? Hey, everybody. It's your head jump. Eyes to the skies. Because I'm going to be dropping some hard Thor news science upon you. Stay cool. Hit the button, baby. Party dance time. We're flying now. Well, this is space. There's space all over the place. This is a Thor news presentation. Thor news presents. In the 4,000 years since the Great Pyramid was built, a million and a half sunrises have cast their shadow across the sand. And here we look at the images from the satellites. Yeah, that looks like some type of a civilization. Is that a pyramid? Is that sphinxy? By examining infrared images taken by NASA satellites orbiting 400 miles above the Earth, space archaeologists have identified 17 pyramids buried deep under the ancient Egyptian city of Tanis, Egypt. That sounds familiar. Tanis, abandoned centuries ago, is famous as the fictional home of the Lost Ark from the Indiana Jones series. Of course, Spielberg and Lucas were onto something. Of course we should have looked here. Satellite images also show other lost structures, upwards of 3,000 settlements and a thousand lost tombs buried for thousands of years. What these satellites do is they record light radiation that's reflected off the surface of the Earth in different parts of the light spectrum, said Sarah Parasek, scientist, professor, Egyptologist, anthropologist, and the 2016 winner of the Million Dollar TED Prize. We use false color imaging to try and tease out these very subtle differences on the ground. All right. Don't we have some good info? Stop teasing me. The satellite images are an archaeologist's clues to what might lie under a rice paddy or a city street. Kick ass. I want a rice paddy satellite. Whatever. This story is rice cake. Can I have something interesting? You just pull back for hundreds of miles using the satellite imagery, and all of a sudden this invisible world becomes visible. This thing that was hidden in plain sight comes into vision. Parkak says they're actually able to see settlements and tombs and even things like buried pyramids that you might not otherwise be able to see. Can you see inside of them? Do you have some type of x-ray where you can find out where all the magic relics, special treasure, and booty might be? Everybody wants good booty. Well, Parasitic's team located were 17 structures that had a similar size, shape, and orientation to the other pyramids in the area. Initial excavations indicate that at least two of the structures are most likely pyramids and filled with curses. But Parasec added, we're not going to be able to say with 100% certainty that they are pyramids until we've looted them. I mean, I'm sorry, until we've excavated them. Her team joined up with an excavation team on site in Egypt where they found the lost ark. Wait, no. Where they found the excavated structure matched the satellite images almost perfectly. We only have a limited amount of time left before many archaeological sites all over the world are destroyed. By who? By what? ISIS? Yeah, why did you even announce this? Now ISIS will probably go there. Destroy everything. This seems like a bad move, man. So we have to be really selective about where we dig. The new tools might just buy archaeologists a little more time. We've got to map all of our ancient history before it's gone. That's it? That's the article? No. Oh. From the comments, the initial Tannis discovery was made over five years ago. I would think that would be enough time to get all the good booty. Since 2011, I've been waiting for a follow-up. After the initial results of Dr. Sarah Parasek's work, Hopefully this article, amongst others, signifies a renewed interest in the many thousands of buried features that show great promise and potential archaeological significance. Maybe such discoveries will help put to bed some of the fringe ideas about Egypt, pyramids, etc. And I'm not saying it's aliens, but it's aliens. So I guess, yeah, if you don't mind some Tunisian curses, then by all means, go get those relics. Man, I'm sorry this story was so rice cake. Started out with such potential, and then pfft, feels like a Tuesday. Alright, peace out. God bless you, boy. Everybody wants good booty.